functions, ladies and gentlemen, again, the main important thing that I really wanted you to guys come away with from a function is that every input has exactly one output. So when dealing with a function, we looked at algebraically. How do we determine if something, um, well, actually, we haven't talked about algebraic. We just talked about the domain of functions, right? And looking at all the numbers, but what are the values that are not a part of the domain? When we're looking at the graphs of functions, um, one of the easiest way to determine if we're talking about a function or not is using the vertical line test. And you can use your pencil, your finger, your book, a piece of paper, it doesn't really matter. But basically what the vertical line test is telling us, because remember, here's our x values. x values are our inputs. Here's our f of x values, or y values, which is our output. For every x value, I can only have one y value that makes up the graph. So as I move this vertical line across, you guys can see that I only crossed the graph once. Meaning, for each x value, there's exactly one y value. Meaning, this is a function. However, when we look over at this graph, we see that this x value, let's just look at x equals 2. When x equals 2, there's two outputs. Meaning, I plugged in a number 2, and I got two different answers. That does not make a function. It does not cross the vertical line test. So that would be an example of not a function. Right? It's pretty simple as that. Everybody kind of likes the vertical line test. It's pretty simple. If it passes the vertical line